Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi's ultimatum brings Finn to tears, and Sheila plots to shock the foresters. Steffi questions the identity of the woman who broke into the cliff house and resembled Sheila. Finn answers, Yes, it was Sugar. You did not kill Sheila. Isn't that a big relief? That is a massive weight lifted. You did not kill my birth mother at all. Steffi wonders whether he expects her to be thankful that the monster is still alive. Finn inquires, Isn't there a part of you that is thankful? He goes on to say that Sugar wanted to hurt her in order to hurt Sheila. Steffi thinks a madwoman has died, and she should be grateful that another crazy woman is still alive. The danger is back now. Finn insists that there is no danger. It is the complete opposite. Even though she was chained up, Sheila attempted to save her life. Sheila is happy Deacon coaxed her into going to the hospital. She received a much-needed checkup and got to frighten the bejesus out of Lee. Deacon shakes his head indulgently. Sheila laughs at the serendipity of Lee stepping down the corridor as she prepares to be checked. She couldn't turn down the chance to give her the shock of her life. Deacon believes that many people will be surprised to learn that she is still alive. They chuckle as Sheila says it couldn't have been more fun scaring the bejesus out of Lee. She felt jealous because Finn refused to let her die. And they say I'm the wicked one. Deacon believes she should become used to people reacting in that way when they see her. Sheila is looking forward to it. Especially the foresters. She muses. Who do you think will be the most surprised? Ridge or Brooke? She can't wait to enter Eric Forrester's home. You know, Donna's a screamer. Deacon smirks. No, not firsthand. Sheila laughs, confident that she will outperform Lee. She feels the hospital reveal was fantastic and hopes to replicate it at Forrester. Deacon questions whether transformed Sheila truly wants to focus on shocking people. Sheila insists there is nothing sinister going on. Deacon asks if she remembers the peaceful life she had before Sugar arrived. She should return to that and concentrate on the two of them and their engagement. Sheila clucks. You are no fun. They can noodle. Adi. Ridge and Liam at Forrester wonder how Finn could believe Sheila has been reformed despite the lack of any evidence. Hope insists he sees the progress. Liam claims that it is not reality. Ridge grunts that animals, even Sheila, do not change. Hope believes they should keep an open mind. People did say the same thing about your son, Ridge. Ridge warns her not to compare Thomas and Sheila. Hope says no, but individuals can change. Ridge knows she is siding with Finn and inquires, Where are you coming from? Liam informs Jessica that her mother has been one of Sheila's favorite targets throughout the years. Hope is well aware. She simply believes that Sheila will regret it. More. KKL reconnects with Susan Flannery. Hope informs the men that Sheila did everything in her power to prevent Sugar from targeting Steffi, Kelly, and Hayes. Liam claims that he's only taking her word for it. She hasn't become a saint overnight. Hope argues that Finn and Deacon believe she has changed for the better. Rich claims everything she does is for show. Finn needs to believe this, and she's given him all the evidence he requires. Hope does not expect them to embrace the notion but they should have an open mind given how important Sheila is to Finn. Ridge insists it won't happen. Hope sighed. Why not? She sees Finn's point of view and wonders why, if Sheila has changed, he would not want to be with her. By the way, that's what Finn wants. He's determined to have Sheila in his life. Liam and Ridge share a look. At the cliff home, Finn tells Steffi that if Sheila is still the monster she claims to be, she wouldn't have worried about Sugar killing her. Steffi shakes her head at his ignorance, explaining that if she had died that night, Sheila would have been blamed. Anything she did to fend off Sugar was selfish. It was a method for her to avoid prison. Finn contends that she loves us more than her own life. He noticed it in her eyes. Don't you see how my birth mother has changed? Offering her own life? That is truly heroic. Sheila is a hero. Steffi looks at him in disbelief. Adi. Steffi said. A hero. You are calling Sheila Carter a hero. That woman attempted to kill us, Finn. Finn claims she attempted to save her life. When Sugar told her. Steffi furiously adjusts the furniture. Oh my god, I do not care about Sugar. I do not care about her. She means nothing to me. 
We're talking about Sheila. Sheila. She's told him several times how she's terrorized her family. For generations, Finn. That woman is a lunatic. She attempted to kill herself, her mother, and her grandma. She has abducted, killed, and poisoned people. She's not a hero. And I never want to hear you say that again. At Deacon's apartment, he rubs Sheila's shoulders. She expresses her desire to return to to you. She teases him about her fictitious diamond ring. Deacon will treat her well and wants the entire world to know how much he adores her. They make out. More Don Diamant celebrates in photos. Ridge and Liam reiterate to hope that Steffi will never allow Finn to introduce Sheila into their lives. Liam informs her of the difficulties they've had due to Finn's connection to his birth mother. He now wants to give an open invitation. Well, Finn doesn't get Steffi then because mark my words, she's going to draw a line in the sand with Finn once and for all. More Finn is about to learn a painful lesson. At the cliff home, Steffi inquires, Do you hear me, Finn? Sheila Carter is a terrible human being. She's not a hero. How could he possibly think that? She abandoned him in an alley to die. Finn says that she tried to save Steffi and the children. The fact that Steffi did not murder his birth mother is important to him. He takes Steffi's hand and says, I am your husband. You, together with the children, are the most important things in my life. But my mother. Steffi flinches. Please don't call her that. Finn felt he'd missed his shot with his birth mother, but now he gets another one. He apologizes, but he wants to help her. Almost losing her made him realize he didn't want to abandon her. Steffi exclaims, But you have to. I love you, Finn. You are a good person, but your biological mother is terrible. You are naive to believe she will improve and not cause ruin to our lives. She is not going to be in our lives, Finn. She is not going to be anywhere near Kelly or Hayes. So, yeah, you cannot have both. It's either her or me. Finn cries. I hear you. Of course it's you, dear. It will always be you. They embrace. Ridge and Steffi become mean girls. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers indicate that Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, and Rich Forrester Torsten K. will become mean girls. They might turn on Hope Logan, Annika Noel, and kick her out of Forrester creations. Keep reading to learn more. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers Hope Logan's Track Record According to The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers, Hope Logan has a horrible history with the Foresters. She fell out with Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, after rejecting his proposal for the hundredth time. He went to Paris with their son, Douglas Forrester, Henry Joseph Samory. Steffi Forrester encouraged Thomas to leave Los Angeles. B&B Spoilers Ridge and Steffi become mean girls. Hope had a complete meltdown when he told her he was leaving town. She screamed angrily as she threw his engagement ring. Since then, Hope has become more stable. She reflected about her relationship with Thomas. She informed Ridge that they were on different paths. Hope was not ready to marry so soon after breaking her marriage to Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton. However, Thomas felt they were both on the right track. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, she could be iced out of Forrester creations. Hope supports John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, in his connection with his mother, Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown. Hope feels that he deserves a second chance to reconcile with his biological mother, especially because she was a victim of sugar. Kimberlyn Brown. B&B Spoilers. Rich Forrester and Steffi Forrester become mean girls. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Ridge and Steffi will become mean girls. Hope Logan is providing updates on Sheila Carter. She disclosed that Sheila was alive, and she had seen her with her own eyes. Ridge assaulted Hope. He accused her of falling for Deacon Sharp's Sean Cannon outlandish beliefs. He claimed Hope was crazy exactly like her father. Steffi was already furious with her husband for contributing to the Sheila Carter redemption myth. She also didn't like Hope supporting Finn in his relationship with his mother. They might freeze her out and keep her out of Forrester creations. Hopefully I'll have to find a new job soon. The episode airing on Friday, May 10th reveals that Steffi will experience the shock of her life. She assembles the pieces and discovers that Sheila is alive. What are your thoughts on Ridge and Steffi becoming mean girls? Do you think it is fair to hope? Comment below.